First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7 to 8, chapter 3, verse 1 to 7. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life, and so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden, in the east, and placed there a man whom he had formed. Out of the ground, the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food. With the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the animals and the Lord God had made. The serpent asked the woman, did God really tell you not to eat from any of the trees in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. It is only about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden that God said, You shall not eat it or even touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You certainly will not die. No. God knows well that the moment you eat of it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like gods who know what is good and what is evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, pleasing to the eyes and desirable for gaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it and she also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. The Word of the Lord Second reading A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans Chapter 5, verses 12 to 19 Brothers and Sisters through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world. Though sin is not accounted, when there is no law, but death re reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin. After the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come? But the gift is not like the transgression. For if by the transgression of the one, the many died, but how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many? And the gift is not like the result of the one who sinned, for after one sin there was the judgment that brought condemnation, but the gift after many transgressions brought acquittal. For if by the transgression of the one, death came to reign through that one, how much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the gift of justification come to reign in life through the one Jesus Christ? In conclusion, just as through one transgression, condemnation came upon all, so through one righteous act, acquittal and life came to all. For just as through the disobedience of the one man, the many were made sinners, so through the obedience of the one, the many will be made righteous. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew. Chapter 4, verses 1 to 11 At that time Jesus was led by the Spirit into the desert to be tempted by the devil. He fasted for forty days and forty nights, and afterwards he was hungry. 
the tempter approached and said to him if you are the son of god command that these stones become loaves of bread he said in reply it is written one does not live on bread alone but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of god then the devil took him to the holy city and made him stand on the parapet of the temple and said to him if you are the son of god throw yourself down for it is written he will command his angels concerning you and with their hands they will support you lest you dash your foot against a stone jesus answered him again it is written you shall not put the lord your god to the test then the devil took him up to the very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their magnificence and he said to him all this i shall give to you if you will prostrate yourself and worship me at this jesus said to him get away satan it is written the lord your god shall you worship and him alone shall you serve then the devil left him and behold angels came and ministered to him this is the gospel of the lord my dear brothers and sisters in christ my dear children and my dear young people we have begun a journey of preparation and today we have come to another important day 26th of february 2023 the first sunday of lent a time of preparation revising ourselves and refertilizing the land in order to cultivate for a greater harvest as we are on this journey of prayer fasting and penance and charity Today the gospel speaks to us from Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11 about the three temptations presented to Jesus Christ by the devil evil power of the world upon the conclusion of his preparation for 40 days and 40 nights and the same temptations we are confronting in our own life Now the first one is that devil is asking Jesus to transform the stone into bread in order to satisfy himself. The second temptation is that he is taking Jesus onto the top of the temple and he is asking Jesus to come down. He is asking him to jump from the top of the temple. and telling him that as it is written in the scripture god eternal will send angels and saints to hold you without hurt letting you hurt your own feet when you jump from the top of the temple the third temptation is with regard to that jesus is taken onto the top of the mountain to show him the glory of the world and he asking jesus to worship him now three categories of temptations the first one transforming the stone into bread that is a kind of self sufficiency jesus renounces self sufficiency to depend on god's providence the second temptation is self gratification because he will jump from the top of the temple knowing that the angels will be sent by the father to hold him up no this is does not want to take self glory self gratification by his own power the third is to worship the devil in order to have worldly inheritance Jesus says it is a matter of an option a decision in life to give yourself totally to God the Father who has called him to a particular mission 